hello to all the cool kids out there and welcome to my channel i am here i am going to be um sewing together some scrap paper for embellishments i'm pretty much going to be doing the same ones that i have done uh that you've seen here on my channel the last couple of days my last couple of lives i've been doing these kind of embellishments hi patricia welcome welcome so <clears throat> I did these live last night, so these are what we're going to be doing. Some of this with the tickets. And I did find who who uh, sells them. It is um, we're diva Designs Etsy.com. So I'll make sure and leave her link down below. I haven't edited uh, that video um, and fixed it up with her name, but I will. I'm going to make some of these two strips with the word on them. I made those a lot. These are all the ticket ones. <clears throat> I did one strip with one word because I thought, why not? That would look pretty too. Um, I did some of these collages. Two strips of flower and a word. Really pretty with the sparkles. So that's all of these. And then I also did two strips with a word. Just two strips. That. So I already have a lot of embellishments, of course, but I need more. <laughs> I am going to be um, decorating a lot of junk journals. I'm going to be having my um, junk journal 2019 spring collection. That's going to be about 20 journals that I have to get done in the next month. <laughs> the next month or so. So, <clears throat> thank you guys so much for joining me today. Like I said, this is what I'm going to be doing. My cat is playing in a paper bag nearby. He's such a little weirdo. Okay, I'm going to be making those. Also, I did some that were three strips. A lot of those. I also did some with <clears throat> some die cuts. From mystery boxes. We have also done some corners with some layered um, sewn pieces of strips of paper. And let's see what else we did. We did these like pockets with the little mini photos from my shop. And those are printed on photo paper, these right here. Really cute. So that's what I have to work on today. But first, I realize I'm going to need some more scraps. So, this is the rest of the paper that I have. I've been cutting it up already, but I still have just a few pieces to do. So, let me say hi to everybody who's here. Oh, Rick's hanging out. <laughs> All right. uh, Betty's here. Patricia's here. Linda's here. Shelby, Annette and cat hi you guys sunshine 1366 hello how is everybody doing today it's such a cloudy day today but it's still nice outside so i like to do kind of like i like the ripped effect but i also like to control the ripped effect i don't like it to be like if i was gonna cut it by hand it would be kind of messy and i'm not into that this helps right here. This is my little um, mini scoreboard by We Are Memory Keepers. And it's just perfect. It just helps me. It still makes funky cuts and everything, but I can make it a little bit more straighter if I can kind of get it the right way. Let's see. Hi, Susan and Linda. Welcome, everybody. So we're just going to be chit-chatting. Oh, my God. My cat just jumped, like, halfway up the wall. Oh, my God. <laughs> chit-chatting and getting all these papers sewn together. I'm really excited to start uh, putting in the pages for my journals. I have to get all the signatures ready. 
for them. Oh, the inside covers too. I got to get the inside covers done first. Oh my gosh, so much to do. And if you guys are wondering what paper pads I'm using, oh, let me get them out. Where are they? Where'd they go? Man, I don't see them. Where did I put them? Okay, I officially. Okay, okay, I see them. <laughs> I moved them. So I'm using Spring and Bow from our collections, as well as English Rose Garden, also from our collections. So yay for that. They are really, really pretty paper pads. So excuse me, I just got to do a couple more pages and I can get started. I just didn't think I had enough papers anymore. So here we are. Here we are again, guys. Hey, Carla. Welcome, welcome. Ooh, that one didn't cut up very well, but oh well. Just like that is a little bit better. <laughs> Maybe we could still use those. I don't know. So you can cut them into smaller strips, like thinner strips, and then also bigger strips. Kind of alternate so that way you get a nice variety. It's helpful. That boy in that paper bag, I should have thrown it away, but playing with it so it's like his toy now <laughs> so he's done with it it's pretty beat up actually got a nice little pile going on here okay and i'm cutting about two pages at once and the pages are cut up well actually this page i'll save i'll do something with that um i do <clears throat> These are cut at four inches, the scrap paper. So it does kind of make it uniform, but you can always cut them all the same size or just kind of deal with them being different size. Doesn't matter really. As long as they will fit on your page, right? Okay, we're almost done with this boring part. It just had to be done. And this is the rest of, this is all the paper that I cut up. So I've cut up, I've cut these pages up basically. I cut them up in, it's a 12 by 12 paper pad. So I cut them up in uh, strips of what, four by 12. So I got three of these strips here and I've already I kind of just like cut them along when I needed them as I finished them up. And that's only about half the paper pad, so that's not that bad. You think, Rick? You're silly. You are just the silliest. So sorry to tell you that we're down to the last two pages. So you'll have to make your own paper ripping channel. Oh my god, my cat. Now we found a piece of plastic too. I don't know. Such a weirdo. Ambu, what are you doing? He's just like hugging the paper bag right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's playing with a piece of plastic on top of the paper bag. That's that's what all that commotion is. Okay, I'm all done. Oh wait, I need some of this glitter paper. Yes, I was almost done with our glitter paper. So, of course, I need more of it. This paper cuts off pretty well. Okay, so there's that. 
with some foil. The foil was a little tricky. The foil I had to do almost like fabric, funny enough. I tried all sorts of different ways to cut this. And the best way was to do it like fabric, which is just so weird for paper. That's how that cut out. Oh, you've been wondering about how I did this. Well, I don't want to put this on camera. I mean, this takes me quite a while, like at least 45 minutes. And uh, yeah, this is how I do it. I use my little mini folder, or you can use anything, I suppose, but this is just what I always use. I don't know, I guess I always use it, and that's just what I always use. It's so weird. I'm sure there's other things you can use. Let me get one of this hollow paper. This boy is so silly. Just want everybody to know Daisy is. Oh my god. A free cone. What does that even mean? Free cone? You giving everybody ice cream, Richard? I don't know what you mean. The glitter's too chunky to use. I haven't used it yet. I don't really don't want to cut it open. Because I know glitter is gonna go everywhere. Let's get one of the pearl. Yes, I'm going to mail everybody, all of my 7,000 subscribers when I get to it, a free ice cream cone. But it will be sent by ground, so it'll take about a week to get to you. You're silly, Rick. Okay. Okay, so that's all of it now, officially. Officially. One moment, I got four minutes. Ugh. So I like to separate these, all of the glitter and all that stuff, and go in here. I also have some gold pieces in there, which I'll use also, because paper pads also have gold. And then here is all, all of my strips, right? Now I said I was out of it, like I didn't have enough, but I kind of do now. Now it feels like a nice little pile here. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so here we go. Let me put this little thing away. Let me grab a little sip of some tropical mango Gatorade. <laughs> okay. So, now the fun process begins, right? So, let's see what we're going to do first. Let's do the one with the three strips first because that always... It takes up a lot of time also. So I'm going to do maybe about 10 minutes of putting the embellishments together of each one. Then we're going to set them aside to sew. So that way I don't spend half an hour doing this and then, or an hour doing this and it takes me two hours to sew. This always takes me longer than I think it will. That'll work out like that. And then I clip them together. And you grab another piece and something else. So it's going to look nice like this. That could look pretty. Why not? Let's do it. And then clip them together. Let's see. And of course, it's very easy because it's all coordinating paper pad.
So this will go by pretty fast. So I got 10 minutes to do this. It's 118. Oh, the foil paper pad's name. Where did it go? Okay, here it is. It is called Solid Rose Gold Mat Stack by DCWV. And the gold one is called Solid Gold Mat Stack. Also by DCWV. Just so you know. And let me get some chopstick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's see what else we're going to do here. I'm just going to look pretty with this actually. I don't think I ever realized how pretty that could be. I think I'm going to sandwich it. Ooh, let's do that. So many choices. Okay, let's do that. Hi, Laura. Welcome. Yes, it's pretty. Okay, we are speed collaging. I'm not even going to worry about it. If they remotely match, I'm going to put them together. We got to go, go, go. Not that I'm going anywhere. I just want to make as many as I can in 10 minutes so that I can kind of make some of every embellishment that I meant to. I can make some more tomorrow. Come on. Something's going to look nice with this. Another one of those. Okay. <laughs> guess I'm going to do that a lot today. This one, one of these, and then we need something like pink. Mm. Said so I'm not gonna be picky, and then I'm like being really picky. Okay, let's do that. Because that's what I do. <laughs> pink. This pink. Some rose gold. Okay, now let's do some glitter. I got this. It's almost like a pearl color. Pearl color, and then it has a uh, texture, and it has some like gold undertones as well. Yeah. This is going to be fun. It takes a while. It's a slow process. <laughs> so I hope you're ready <laughs> for a nice stream. Okay, so this is pretty much it. This is pretty much the embellishment, and I'm going to sew it. And then I have different variations on it, basically, is how it works. Just to make it easy on me when it comes to making these journals. Yep, that'll work. Okay, and then let's do some foil. I'll use this one. Okay, and then. Ooh, that would be interesting. Yeah, let's do that. It's a good mix. Um, this, this, this. Let's do it. <clears throat> Getting quite a few done. Really quick process. Ooh, that would be pretty. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. Let's get this purple. With I know I have some other stuff. Where is everything else? Come on. <laughs> everything else is hiding. No, I don't want the pink actually. Purple. The one with the gold foil. And these polka dots. Let's do that. Ooh, Laura, how exciting. Congratulations. I'll make sure and check out your channel. Let's get some glitter in between this one. Yes, some actual Olympic glitter. Yep. Let's cut it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am liking that. Okay, so let's put this together here. Oops. Whoops. Okay, and let's put these together because why not? It just fell into my hand. Oh, there's this pretty gold foil like rose almost. It's beautiful. Welcome, welcome everybody. Let me get a sip. So good. Well, congrats, congrats. The first video is always the hardest, and then they get really easy. <laughs> you get better and better at it. But congrats on getting the first one up for sure. That'll look pretty. Let's do that. This and this and this. Let's do it. Aren't these foils great? Okay, so now I have this nice little bunch. Yep, that's great. That's what I want. That's what I want. Let's do that. I'm really not trying to be fussy, but it's really easy to not be fussy. When you kind of cheat by using a, a, a stack of, pa of scrapbook paper that already coordinates. It makes it so much easier. I'm going to do it. Double foil on this one. That's great. I want to thank everybody so, so much for joining me. I will still be going live tomorrow night at, um, or tonight, <laughs> I should say. Tonight, I'll be going live at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um probably doing some other embellishment because I gotta get again a lot of embellishments done before I get back to the routine of working again on those junk journal covers. Took a small break but we can get back to it. Now let's do that this and this book paper because that would be pretty. Okay. I know, I know. Oh, uh, thank you, Laura. I'm glad you liked them. You know, I just I just needed some more flower is flowers in my journals myself. And I cut all those flowers out digitally, like from digital images. I go in and I cut them out. It takes quite a while. But since I already have them because I use them for my designs, I'm like, why don't I just put these on a background and then I can cut them out. <laughs> like, oh, smart, real smart. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, 
let's do this right here. Yeah, they're from, I could show you all the original images that they're all from. And I cut them out. Just like you would in real life, almost. <laughs> it takes quite a while. Um, this and this. One more minute of putting these together, and then I'm going to move on to the next embellishment. The next embellishment type. And I'll leave that one there. Trying to hurry, trying to move on. Let's do that. Got this one. Got this. We got more book paper. Let's do that. Ooh, gold, you guys, and rose gold. Mm hmm. Telling you, I wasn't much of a fan myself, but <clears throat> it just it's won me over. <laughs> it has won my heart. <laughs> okay, this flower and then and then okay that can Okay, so that's my 10 minutes of putting these together. So I got quite a few done, ready to be sewn together. So let me set these aside. And let's work on the next one we're going to do. Just randomly pick. Okay, here's the first one I pulled up. We're going to put two strips of paper together, and then we're going to add a word. I don't have that many, so we'll just do as many as I have here. So let's work on that one. So just two strips and a word. Okay, that's doable. Let's see, I have to kind of split these amongst. I think there's another kind that does this too. So let me see if I can split these among here. And these are from my shop. If you guys want to check them out, it's over at tsunamirose.net. And they're under uh, the new, new tab. We'll just use a little bit more than half of the amount that I have, actually. Yeah, that'll work. So two strips of paper, that'll work. And a word, so just like that. And I'm looking for my paper clips, and they're right there. Okay, so two strips. Ooh, that looks pretty together. And a word. Let me get you the link to them. I do have the link, I believe. Um, no, I don't. Of course I don't. <laughs> Let me get you the link. Shop. And I believe I searched for it. There it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, and I didn't time myself. Vocabulary words printable. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's keep the show going. I'll do these two in a word. And let's make sure to use some glitter. The glitter pack. So let's see, what are we going to use it with? Uh, let's use it with this, because I usually don't have, I don't know, I don't feel like the paper mat, the paper stack has anything to really match with this paper. I don't know why. It's just how I feel. Okay, so it is 133, so let's do this for, well, I only have these left, so I guess there's not much to time, is there? <laughs> I guess not. Dazzling. 
beautiful and i also like to print these at different sizes like these are the regular size just when you print them out and then i have um <coughs> smaller ones that are half the size so i print out two pages on one and you get them really really tiny you can see the difference <laughs> so i like to have that to kind of make it into like almost like two different printables in one it works pretty good just to like customize them for your um projects it's great so let's balance bit moving i'm trying not to be too picky they all pretty much you know they all coordinate <laughs> I like using up all my paper pads to like the very bottom. I don't know about you guys. I have no feelings attached to my paper pads. I like to finish them all up. <laughs> Let's see. This and this is a little pretty. So I have another one of these, and let's see. I can add some gold foil to it, or like rose gold foil. I guess it's rose gold foil. Yeah, rose gold. <laughs> and I like to put the strips, the, the tiny pieces away too. I'll use them later for something. Okay, and that's the last one of the big words. Well, for this stack anyways. Okay, so to like cut out more, that's what I got. So let's move on to the next style. Let's see, what did I do here? Okay, so I did two strips of paper, a flower, and a word. So let's do that for the next couple pieces I have for that. It's not that many. Well, let's do that. So I don't I don't have any more long ones though. So it'll have to be short. Unless I can find no. Just kind of the odd ones out because the rest of them are four inches long. Okay, well we'll have to deal with it. Two strips. A flower. Let me get my flowers. Oops, my fan, my sandal fell off. No. Um, here they are. Here they are. I have the medium sized ones. I don't need the large ones. Okay, so a flower, right? It's, um, and these are from our mystery boxes. If anybody wants to check those out. Love the rose gold. I have to get that. Where did you find that pack? Um, this I got at Joanne's. So it's DCWB solid rose gold matte stack. You should still have it there. I use the blue flowers. I use a lot of the blue flowers. Yeah. They're fun. I gotta get new flowers. Okay, so. I run out of these so quickly. That could be pretty right there at the very end. I could work with that. I could work with that. Deirdre, good choice. Good choice. Okay, so we got this one. is a little bit harder because I have to include the flower. <laughs> Not that it's really hard, but it's just an extra step, you know? Let's do this pillowy textured paper. And I'll definitely be buying another one of that, another one of these rose gold stacks if I have, um, if I have uh, another 
Um, where did my words go? Oh, here, there. If I have another stack that calls for it, I'll definitely buy it again. Okay, so we have that. We have that. Okay, this flower is pretty. We put a little flower there. Okay, that works. <laughs> Why am I looking for my paper clips and they're right in front of me? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so next I use the gold and the purple. Oh, I didn't notice that it would look really pretty with this teardrop. I think it's a little leaf. Okay, it might be a little leaf. <laughs> okay, so these two. A word it kind of covers up all the <laughs> all the foil the oh well and I know I really have only have one choice for this but um, okay maybe this will look pretty still with this Ooh, it does. We'll use it. I'll take it. Yeah, the purple flower is this one. It's not really even purple. It just has a purple ribbon. <laughs> okay, so that's that'll work. I have two more strips or two more words. <clears throat> Let's do these two. That will go there. And then we'll have these two. That'll go there. But the purple flower is just, I just noticed it's not really purple. <laughs> but it'll work. Actually, no, not purplish. What am I doing? <clears throat> okay, I have this pink one. Let's see if I can fit it in here somehow. Somehow. Uh, I don't like where that fits. I just don't. I'm right here with the blue. Mm hmm. Yep, it's gonna have to be with the blue. Yeah, they do have it on Amazon. Uh, DCWV is one of the ones that I could find on Amazon. You can't find the Recollections one. Um. But you should be able to find that one. Let me see if I can find it. One second. Search accounts. It's this one. Make a password. Uh, stretching. Solid rose gold. Is that what I said? <clears throat> Solid rose gold. Let's see. DCWV Solid Roads Goals. Nope, it's not on Amazon. At least I don't see it. I don't see it. Sometimes they only sell them at stores, like obviously recollections, you can only find that at Michael's. But sometimes some of the DCWVs are over at um, on Amazon. I know one of them that I did find. But not in this case, I suppose. I think the gold one is on there. Maybe. 
No, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. Okay, so that's that for these ones. It wasn't that many, but okay. Let's see what else we did. Um, I think that was it for it. Oh, I, we did the tickets. Okay, let's do some of the ticket ones. We just did uh, three strips of paper. I just made these last night. Some cases, two, a ticket, and a flower. Okay. So I did find where I got my tickets from. And I could show you. Let me grab them. Oh, my feet are cold. I need to get my boots. Where is it? One moment. If it's one thing I can't stand, it's being cold. I hate being cold. So let me get my little boots on because my feet are cold. Let me get my little sweater on. Yesterday it was 80 degrees. Today is only supposed to be like 68 or something. <sighs> I hate when the weather starts turning because it never makes up its mind fast. You turn on the AC one day and the next day it's cold again. <laughs> The worst. Okay, let me put on my little sweater because I'm kind of cold. Okay. I am, I am planning on going to California this weekend, so I'm excited about that. I'm finally going to go. <laughs> finally. Okay. So, these are the tickets that I got, and I got them over at... Uh, World Diva Designs. Etsy.com. World Diva Designs. Etsy.com. There's a link if you guys want to check her out. Um, she's got, I think she sells 100 tickets for $10. And um, I love them. I bought two sets. So, and I, I want to buy more. So I'm glad she still has them. Okay. So what I did was a ticket, flower, two strips. Okay. So let's start with this blue one. I'm going to try to get one of each. So let me actually let me get one of each already. I want to show you guys what they look like. They're really cute. Some of them are printed on both sides. Some are not. But some are. So I got that one already. Don't have this one. Oops. This one opened up. What? Pull this down. She has like a little belly band, and I'm trying to keep it together as much as possible. Okay. I'm glad I was able to find I didn't notice that she had um, left this little sign or this little note in her envelope so when I went through it I was like oh how happy I found it because everybody was asking me about them and I was like I don't know I don't know what's up boo boo why you cry boo boo why you cry boo boo such a sad boy. You're such a sad little boy. Oh no. That's so sad, boo boo. <laughs> this little cat. What's up, boo boos? Don't cry. It's gonna be okay. Okay. So I got all my ticks, all my tickets. I mean, I'm missing this one. So you get a nice variety, definitely. Three, six, nine, ten. Ten different tickets. I am very happy with this purchase. Uh-oh. Are we all still here? We're chat disconnected. Why? That's mean. People want to say stuff. 
<sighs> Unable to connect to chat. What's up with that? I don't know if you guys are still here. Chat disconnected. I don't know why it disconnected the chat, but it did. That's why. I hope y'all can still see me, though. So I'm going to keep working, because I don't know what's going on. But the show must go on. Chat disconnected. That's the weirdest thing. Like, why would that happen? Like, out of all the things, why? So strange, you guys. That's just the weirdest. Sorry about the chat disconnecting. I was having so much fun talking to everybody. And they're like, you're talking too much. Just like I was in school. Oh my God. It's like kindergarten all over again. So there's one right here. The little purple ribbon flowers. Okay, let's put that right there. Let's work on the next one. So sad about the chat. What's going on? Come on, YouTube. Get it together. Get it together, YouTube. Let's do these two. And let's do this teal. And I'll pick a flower. Mm -hmm. That'll work. Unless it works better this way. That looks pretty also. Oh, let's do it this way. Just to be a little different. Just a little different. So weird about the chat. That's never happened before. That is very strange. I'm stuck here talking to myself like a weirdo. Like, come on, YouTube. You're making me look weird. Like, who talks to themselves? But now I have to talk to myself. <laughs> now it's back to when I actually made videos and edited them. Come on, man. Come on. I got to talk about stuff. And I don't know what you guys want to talk about. Oh, so sad. <laughs> So sorry, you guys. I don't know why they hate me. <laughs> I don't know what they have against me. It's very sad. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. It's so sad. This is too big, Daisy. Yep, it is. <laughs> Way too big. But I think the little one is too little. No, I could be wrong. Yeah, I guess I could be wrong. Okay, that'll go together then. Why are you crying, Boo Boo? Why are you crying, Boo Boo? Are you gonna talk to me? Because nobody else can talk to me, Boo Boo. You gotta talk to me, Boo Boo. I have no one else to talk to. <laughs> I gotta talk to my cat, you guys. It's so sad. I mean, not that I don't, not that I mind. I like talking to my cat. <laughs> I don't like people knowing I talk to my cat. <laughs> Um, let's see. What, Boo Boo? Did you even bring your toy? Oh my gosh. You're a mess. Okay, so this will go together. I'll just paper clip that. Okay. Let's do this. This one, and that would be cute with this. And we get some flowers over here. I'm sorry, I can't talk to you guys. I'm very sad about it. <laughs> I'm so sad. That'll look pretty. Okay, let's do that. You're just going to sit there and look sad, boo, -boo? <laughs> He's just staring at me. Did you even bring me your toy, though? You cry, but you don't bring me your toy. Where's your toy? 
I don't have your toy. Go get your toy, Ambu. It's the worst when he does that. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So, so sorry about the chat. Ugh. Didn't plan it to be like this at all. I don't know if I want to talk to myself for another hour. That's... <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of stress. <coughs> I had to talk to myself. Oh, for another for a whole hour. I mean, for five minutes, me for another hour. I don't know about another hour. It's a little crazy. Okay, do that. That's such a shame. You guys know that's like the best part of these lives is like chatting with you guys. Oh my gosh. And the fact that I don't have to edit my video. <laughs> See, maybe this one will look better. Oh, this looks better. Okay, so let's do this ticket instead with that flower on top. I'm into it. I am into it. I found myself talking to myself uh, at Tuesday morning. <laughs> at one point. I think I said, like, yeah, yeah, we'll take this one. Or something like that. I think I said, yeah, I'll take this one. <laughs> and there was some lady there, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, I find myself talking to myself way too often. She just, like, kind of giggled. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Somebody was here to witness that. Oh, no. Okay, we'll put this yellow ticket there. So if you guys ever wondered if I talk to myself when I'm by myself, yes, I do. <laughs> Apparently, it is very apparent uh, I do. Okay. That's too small. I really need to cut out new flowers again. I put some into mystery boxes, and I don't have my own stash anymore because they... <laughs> I use those to fill up a mystery box one time. <laughs> Desperate times, you guys. Desperate times. They look pretty even with the purple ribbon. It's a little much. And we'll do that. And we'll do it this way. Because that's the cool way to do it today, apparently. Here. One more, one more. Okay. Come on. Okay. So I got three more tickets to do. <clears throat> okay. So I can't wait to go to California this weekend. I'm very excited. My husband's going too, but he's going to go hang out with his own friends. And I'm going to go hang out with my friends, and it's going to be awesome. Let me get this here like that. Get it. I kind of like to nestle it in, if that's a word people say, nestled right there. Just like that. I think that looks really nice. The sun is kind of going down, so I wonder if I need more light. Let me see. Maybe just need a little bit more light. Because I don't have my... I didn't set up my studio light. So this I'll have to do. Okay, so we got two more. This would look pretty with the gold. No, this one's the one for the purple. Yep, yep, yep. What else do I have? Script paper is pretty. Let's do that. This. And. What else? Pick one of these because that would still kind of go with it. I know it's purple themed. I know this isn't purple, but it still kind of goes. Still kind of dig it. Sorry about the chat, you guys. I don't know what happened. Just all of a sudden, we're all chatting, having a blast, and Google's, I mean, YouTube's like, that's enough. You guys need to settle down. 
and somehow disabled my chat or I don't know. It said it disconnected. That doesn't make any sense. It makes zero sense. Okay, so here's the last one of this embellishment we're going to do. <laughs> put it with this green. And then ooh, the, uh, the orange will stand out nicely. And then I can put a flower. It looks better with a medium sized one. It's not too big. Oh, here we go. I don't think it's going to be too, too big. <laughs> That's what I always say. Okay, this could be here. In the middle of this. Just like that. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I need one more. Um, I don't know why I was going to call it a Q-tip. <laughs> a paper clip. Okay, so I think we did all the embellishments in this bag. Um, that we could, you know, the ones with the words. This one was the one with all the words in it. Okay, let me move on to the other bag of embellishments I did. I did a bunch of three layer ones. What else did I do? Looks like I did three layers with some of these um, item uh, die cuts that are in my store. Okay, so we'll make some of those. So let's do that. So I think the other stuff, well, some of the other stuff I have to do with the actual sewing machine in front of me. Yeah, okay, so let's do some of those before we get to the sewing machine. Okay. So let me get the right items for that. I have these die cuts, which I actually need. So I won't use those. I'll just use the beige ones. We got those. Okay, so here's my little beige embellishments. Well, die cuts, I should say. I have more of these than the other ones, so I'm going to use these ones. Okay, let me get a shot of Gatorade. One second. Because I'm a real athlete, okay? I don't care what you say. <laughs> this takes stamina. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so we gotta do three strips, huh? That's a little messy. Well, it's not messy, it's just a little busy. But I'm still kind of into it. Oops, I didn't know my camera was facing me. I'm still kind of into it. So let's do that. We'll do this, and then we need to put an item on it. We could literally just pick something out and lay it down and make it too big. Okay, maybe not that easy. Whoa. These I forgot these die cuts for some reason really mess with the screen. I don't know what it is. It's like it's reading it like a barcode or something. I don't know what it is. It's the strangest thing, and it only happens with certain things. Like, it happened with, like, a certain fabric one time. It was, like, a big submarine, like, one of those um, airships, whatever they're called. Um, it happened one time with the purple fabric. It just freaked out with this one purple fabric. I don't know why, but it did. It just freaked out. Okay, so that's that. And I guess these black and white die cuts do it for it too. It just freaks out. I don't know. It's weird. To do stream. And we'll put this little typewriter on it. That'll be cute. Then. What else do we have here? I'm going to rotate my stock here. <laughs> See what it gives me. This, this, and we'll put this together down here. Okay. 
why not? Um, let's use this little bottle. That'll look cute together. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. <clears throat> you guys know I'd much rather be chat with y'all, but here we are. <laughs> YouTube done cut me off, y'all. They cut me off. They put me in the corner. <laughs> They're like, you going live too much, girl. Like, go take a nap. <laughs> okay, maybe they didn't say that. Okay, this, this, this. Sure, why not? Let's do it. All right, I should have timed myself for this. Okay, so in another 10 minutes, I'll stop doing this and get to sewing. I have to limit myself because I can just keep going and going and going. And then I'll never finish sewing it up. <laughs> okay, there's just a lot of options here. Just floating around. Okay, there's a little butterfly, though. Okay, let's put the little butterfly. And what else? What else? Oh, we could just use this one here. It's kind of neutral, so the butterflies can kind of shine. And, 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 and guess what? We're going to put a butterfly on it. <laughs> guess what? Butterfly. It's happening. It's going to happen. Let's do it. Okay, next. I am looking everywhere for what I got. Let's see here. This. Is good. <clears throat> Maybe not with that. <laughs> Maybe not. Oddly enough, it looks kind of okay with this. Kind of. Just a little bit. Maybe we'll break it up with a neutral. Mm hmm. Okay. So let's put this little lady right here, because why not? She kind of goes, and if you guys, I don't think I can type, I don't know if I can type in a, a, a link. Let me see. I don't know that it'll work, because chat is disabled. <laughs> uh, okay, I could chat, I guess. That's weird. I don't know if that went through, but I typed in the link for the mystery boxes where you can find these. Um, let's see. What else are we doing here, people? What else? Let's do this. Okay, cool. And then, oh, we're going to put this little baking powder on there. Duh, that's so adorable. That is the cutest. I should have got be done now because that's an hour of making collages. So that means that's going to take me over an hour to sew. I already know myself. <laughs> I already know. Yes, that looks pretty together. I don't know why I keep working like this today. <laughs> should be working like this. And then, what are we going to put here? Let's put, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Oh, we got this little balloon. Put this little balloon on there. That would look pretty with the little balloon. Okay, so that'll work. Okay, so we are going to do that with this pink in the middle 
and then I'm looking through my little die cuts here, looking at my options. I just noticed the microphone is kind of far away from my face. I don't know if that's the messing up the audio. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's better. I don't know. And we have this. This is kind of big for it, though. So, boo. Um, is this clock good? Oh, it's a little too big. Um, toilet soap. <laughs> Ew, buttermilk toilet soap. That sounds gross. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't know if I'd buy that. <laughs> it might not be a good thing. Okay. And then let's pick a neutral. That would be pretty. Okay, so let's do that. Um, and I'd show you my die cuts, but it messes up the screen for some reason. I don't know why. It just starts straight up messing up the screen. We'll use this right here. It's, um, like cotton thread on a spool. And that just looks adorbs. Looks like really good. Okay, so we got this one. Now let's keep picking up more of these. Oh wait, no, let's do this, this, and this. That would look good actually. Let's see what die cut I'm gonna use. Oh, I can use this little silhouette, which is cute. I'm sorry I can't chat with you guys. They put me in the corner. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know who ratted me out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> who told? <laughs> I, need, I need to know who told on me. <laughs> okay, so we have these three. Maybe I have something little. Maybe I have this little shoe. Okay, that'll work. Little shoe. I got three more minutes putting these together and then I could get on to sewing. Because <sighs> I always underestimate, I always, 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 always underestimate how much time it takes me to sew things. <laughs> Apparently. I'm not the fastest. I know. Shocker. Shock. Okay, so let's get that in there. Do this one, this one, with this in the middle. I'm trying to incorporate this paper a lot because I kind of tend to not incorporate it for some reason. Little scissors, that would be cute. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I don't like it with that after all. Maybe with this would be an interesting mix. I'm just gonna use this little bust again. Why not? Okay, so let me get this together here. Okay, so that's it. I'm gonna call time on that. The rest of the items I can do um, while I'm on my sewing machine if I get to it. <laughs> let me get all this. I don't have enough scraps. Okay. Well, now I do. Just give me one moment. I gotta package everything up. Oh my gosh. Such a mess. 
Thank goodness for big old Ziploc bags. <laughs> Get in there. I'm crazy enough to want to use every single scrap that I made. But we'll see. We'll see. It's just fun to put all these together. It just it's a lot of work to sew. <laughs> I could do it, but I can't do it live. I just need to take breaks in between, you know? Human being type of breaks. Human activities. Get all this in there. And let me take a little girl's room break for one minute. I'll be right back. One minute. Okay, I'm back. Let me make sure that my microphone is good. The chat is still disabled because why not, I guess. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, so let's get to sewing. Scrap back there. Oops, 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 oops. I hit my microphone. Uh, this is my sewing machine. It is the Brother Project Runway. Um, special, limited edition, not special edition, <laughs> CE1125PRW, uh, can't believe I had a look at it, what is wrong with me, what is wrong with me, let me get in a little bit closer, I apologize about the chat being just like, well, I'm really sad about that, like, honestly, honestly, honestly sad, okay, so we're gonna sew a lot here. And I guess there's no way to really, I'm trying to like kind of divide it by the kind that it is. So that way I know how I'm going to sew it. Get the tickets together. <clears throat> this just kind of helps me streamline the process. Sometimes to go faster, you have to. Take one step and kind of evaluate, <laughs> and then you can keep on going. And it just makes it a little bit easier if you organize first, just a tiny bit. Okay, and the rest of these are three strips. Okay. Okay, now I know what I'm working with here. Okay, let me do the three strips first. So it's just going to be a lot of sewing. Oh my gosh, a lot. <laughs> a lot of sewing. I'm going to try and do this all in one little one little um, line of sewing. I try to like interlock all the papers here so that it just takes one row of zigzag stitch to kind of put them all together. I'm going to use exact stitch number four. I'm going to use a nice wide and long stitch for this. So just like that, that way it just takes one stitch. And I should have let this whole line continue, but we'll keep on going here. 
it does kind of shrink down the size of each strip, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm going to use these as tuck spots and as just decor for the page and all that. Let's see. And in my last batch of journals, I use a lot of these embellishments in each journal pretty much. And it was wonderful. I really, really, really like making a bunch of embellishments or a bunch of journal covers or a bunch of something at a time. It just, that's just how I work. That way when I get to making a junk journal, all I have to do is decorate it. And I already have all the decorations done and it just makes things faster for me. So it seems really slow at first, but it's not. It's really not slow. Let's fix this here. Perfect. So we intersect everything so we can get it all sewn together in one line. So I hope everybody will have a good weekend, and um, that's only Wednesday, actually. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm so ready for the weekend. To me, it's already the weekend. <laughs> I forgot that it's not the week. <laughs> it's the middle of the week. Baby. Sorry, you guys. I easily lose track of time. <laughs> easily. Let's get this settled. Okay. Ooh, I can't wait to finish off down. I think I should be able to finish off down to Nappy Season 3 today. <laughs> pretty much watching like one season a day. <laughs> Ridiculous. But it's a very binge worthy show. I don't know if I like period dramas or if I just like this one period drama. But man, Downton Abbey's where it's at. It's such a soap opera, but I love it. <laughs> Now let's do this one with the purples together and then the book page in the middle. All right, gives it a nice contrast. Okay, let's intersect these here with this. Right. Okay. Mm, I'm going to need some chicken soup after this. I'm so excited. <laughs> too excited about chicken soup right now. This one in the middle. I'm still sad about the chat, you guys. <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to talk to myself for another hour, and I know I have been. <laughs> Really, honestly, that sucks. Like, I know you're there, but I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> I don't know what you're thinking. I don't know what you're saying. It's really sad. <laughs> and lonely. 
Woods. Let's keep the momentum going. This is going rather well for me. I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> So with any luck, maybe I'll find some more bed sheets and Cali. Not that I really need any, but hey. Maybe I'll find some pretty ones. Who knows? Who knows? I don't like that after all. Let me grab something else. Um, okay, this will work. This will be better. The other one was kind of crooked. I don't know why it was so crooked. There. Okay. Ooh, we got some gold foil. All right. Let's do that right there. Make sure they intersect. Um, okay, and then this strip right here. Okay, right there. Okay, I'm going to put these together. I'm going to intersect them. And then using a nice wide zigzag stitch usually gets all of them in place, usually. I'm going to have a nice long, you can see it back here, a nice long tail of little sewed up collages. Oops, I had to mess it up. I had to mess it up, huh? Had to be me. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. simple collages you guys I'm really really happy with this that's a lot of collages done in two hours if you ask me I mean I'm not saying some sort of record but I'm saying call Guinness okay call them nice stash of embellishments now I need to move on to other embellishments like tags, tags. so tonight that's probably what I'll do I'll probably work on some more fabric tags and I gotta make fabric envelopes I want to make at least one fabric tag per journal at least one fabric envelope per journal so you get a nice variety to start decorating i gotta start getting the inside of the journals ready also mm. it's a lot to do for this spring collection but i'm excited i have all sorts of journals one signature two signatures um i might even make some travel notebook size i'll have hardcover books i'll have um soft so well, not soft but like um Cardstock co card cover is going to be cheaper. Um, but I'm going all out on these journals and I'm going to decorate them every single page. Well, some of them might not be decorated. I'm going to have different options for you guys. So that you can find the perfect journal for you. So I'll have some that are not decorated, some that are fully decorated, some that are only half decorated. So yeah, I'm really excited. A lot of work I gotta do um, till the release date. I already set it for May 1st. So y'all know I'm gonna have to get a move on that. That's gonna be tough, but I'm gonna do it. So get ready for a lot of work. A nice long tail there of embellishments. Got 
this one. Okay, so those are all done. Now I got a nice long line here of embellishments I got to cut up. So we'll do that later. So that was exciting. <laughs> now let's do the ones with the T stripes and the word. Should be pretty easy. Just got to set them up right. And we should be able to do this in one stitch. Of course, I probably should have used a straight stitch, actually. Yeah, let me use a straight stitch for this. Because the zigzag stitch kind of blurs out the word, and I kind of want the word to be showing <laughs> somewhat. So let's do that. So let's do that. Oops, straight stitch is where it's at. Okay, so make sure it's really nice and together. So that way we only use one. I will probably go back and... No, you know what? These need more than one line. That is not enough. Hang on, let me do this again because I don't think one line is enough. Okay, it needs two. And until I get, I need to learn how to put the two needles in there because this has like a foot or like a needle thing for two needles. I just honestly haven't been brave enough to do it. <laughs> I need to be braver right now. Okay, let's get these two together. Nice and close. All right, let's do that. And I'm planning on doing kind of like a vlog style video from Cali. Because I'm going to show everywhere I go. And I'm going to hang out with some cool people. I'm going to hang out with uh, little Rhonda Lee from YouTube. Uh, as well as Pink Odd Bird from YouTube. So I am looking forward to meeting them. That should be a lot of fun. Well, I've already met little Rhonda Lee, but I have not met April. And I've known April for a long time now, it feels like. She's been on my design team for quite a while. I want to say like a year or two at least. A lot of my design team members stay on for a long, long time. They have a lot of fun. And uh, we are pretty much drama free. So that kind of, everybody kind of likes that. <laughs> I try and stay very mellow, very mellow, very drama. That's just how I stay. Let's do the next one here. Do these two. This word right here. Let's do that. I'll do one over here. So those look really good. These are very, very easy right here to do. I could do it in one line, but I really don't want to. <laughs> I like, sometimes I like the look of several lines. Just as a graphic element of the uh, embellishment. I had a little bit of interest. Okay. Of course, I gotta cut off all the strings because they annoy me so much. Oh my god. Okay, so this will go right here. Uh huh. Two 
hours goes by so fast, you guys. I did spend quite a while, maybe like, what, like 10 minutes cutting up the paper. But man, you think I'm going to craft for a couple hours. That goes by so fast. But try and craft for a couple hours every day. So that's when you see me going live. Try and keep it trucking. And I really, really like, that's why I like making simple things for my junk journals. I don't like getting too elaborate. Because I only have an hour or two to craft before I want to take a break. So I like to do easy projects that I can make a lot of and feel really good about myself. <laughs> It's the sad truth. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's fun. It's so much fun. I know everybody who's addicted to junk journals loves it. It is a wonderful hobby, I gotta say. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Last one of these two strips with the word on it. And I gotta make more of them maybe we'll see how many i have a lot of uh embellishments with words maybe we should get some without words <laughs> i don't want a word on every page i'll figure something out okay so that was that stash right here and then we have, let's do these ones right here. The three strips with the die cuts. This one is definitely going to have to be done in a couple steps because we got to do the background together first. Oh, wait, no, we don't. No, we don't. We did two it all together. Okay. Okay, okay, not bad. And I don't like to use glue. You guys can, are more than welcome to use glue. You don't even have to use a sewing machine. I myself just prefer not to use glue. Just so I can keep on rolling and I don't have to stop to let the glue dry. And I don't have to um, be worried about gunking up my sewing machine. Because apparently that's a... Thing I didn't know about. <laughs> Apparently it's a big deal or something. I don't know. Okay, so we'll do this right here. Right in the middle. Okay, let's go. And I'm just using a straight stitch. I'm going to use a couple of lines to secure this down. Might even do one more. Okay, so there's that one right there. The little balloon. Let's go to the next one. With the butterflies. Just put it in the middle. Like that, okay. Adorbs. Okay, that looks so cute. Yes, I love it. Freaking love it. That looks adorable. Tell me it doesn't. Don't tell me. You can't. You can't even tell me you don't like it because the chat is disabled. <laughs> In your face. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wish I could chat with you guys, but stuff happens. You know, stuff happens sometimes. In life. Okay. 
down the middle. What happened to the other side? <laughs> oh, it flew off. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what? What happened? Piece it back together. <laughs> it happens, it happens. But once I glue it down, it'll be okay. It'll be all put together. <laughs> so I had to do four lines on this one craziness. And then I didn't even make it even. Like, wow. <laughs> there, now it's even. Bam, magic. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. Let's do it like that together there. Thank you guys for hanging out with me despite the whole chat thing. I, I really, <laughs> You're still hanging out with me in spirit, and that's what counts, you know? I, I feel it. I feel your presence. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for... <laughs> Still dealing with this. Sometimes these things happen. I totally didn't count for that. <laughs> but I guess here we are. Here we are. We're dealing with it, right? Okay, so let's get this all in place. Moving it up just the tiniest little bit. And I guess we're using a zigzag now. And it still didn't reach one of them. Okay, this little edge, it did not reach it at all. We do a straight stitch. Should reach it now. Nope. Can you believe it? Still not together. Like, wow. <laughs> I could have swore that was, like, almost on top of each other. Okay. Okay. You want to play tough, huh? You want to be a tough guy. <laughs> You guys, I'm crazy. I've been talking to myself for an hour now. You guys can call the cops. I will let you guys. I'll give you my address and you can send me some help. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's get this here. Let's get this off. Oh, oh, oh. I've been wanting to tell you guys this story, right? Okay, so when I was in elementary school, and it was elementary school. I distinctly remember that. It was not middle school. I don't think so. Um, they, like, had us selling chocolates. You know, like, how they always do. <laughs> they had us selling chocolates. And I went, like, basically house to house. I don't know how my mom let me. But she. <laughs> I went, like, house to house, like, selling chocolates around the neighborhood. And I ended up being one of the winners of, like, selling the most chocolates or something. Chocolate bars or something. So, I got to win the big prize, right, along with other people. <laughs> I live, okay, so I grew up in a town called Oxnard, or in a city called Oxnard, California. And basically, it is sandwiched between Santa Barbara and Malibu. So that's where I grew up, and so when we won this contest, they took us in a limo, we got a limo ride, which was insane, I don't think I'd ever seen a limo in my life, so they took us in a limo to McDonald's. <laughs> 
We all climbed in a limo. They took us to McDonald's in Malibu. So we got to drive along the Pacific Coast Highway. Freaking magical. Okay, it was the first time ever in my life that I'd seen a dolphin. I mean, we drove by. So the Pacific Coast Highway is right along the beach. So it's the prettiest drive. And I saw dolphins. I've never seen dolphins again there. Maybe it was just my childhood memories that there was dolphins, but I remember dolphins. And I remember, like I said, we got to go in a limo ride to McDonald's. So fancy, you guys. Like, <laughs> But where I grew up, like I said, it's between Malibu and Santa Barbara. It sounds fancy, but it's actually like the farm village between all the like fabulousness or where it was for a while. Now it's, they're starting to like build nice houses and everything, but it used to be like really uh, basically farm workers and field workers and all sorts of people. But mostly it was used um, to grow strawberries. Now, now it's not because <laughs> They covered up all the farms with houses. But back in the days, it used to be the strawberry capital of the United States. Now it's somewhere else. But <laughs> back when I was young, we had the best strawberries. <laughs> Which is why I'm excited, of course, to go back to my hometown, hang out with some scrappy junk journal buddies. I'm excited. I really am thrilled to be going and it's not that far away and i still have all my family there i just haven't gone back in years oh <laughs> i'm so lame i know I need to go back but my mom and dad i guess are going too so i guess i'll meet them up there when i get there okay so this will look pretty make sure it's wide enough for this die cut I just can't believe they took us in a limo to Malibu to eat McDonald's. <laughs> it just makes me laugh so much. Like, I actually worked a lot to sell those chocolate bars. I remember going around to the houses and saying, like, it's for a good cause. I can't remember where I saw it on TV that they said it's for a good cause back in the 90s. And uh, I remember saying that. And uh, I won. I don't know. I was one of the winners. I can't remember how many winners there was. There must have been like half a dozen winners. And we all got on this fancy limo. <laughs> Drove around the, uh, in front of the ocean. And we got McDonald's. <laughs> I can't make this up. Somebody out there must remember too. Maybe I'll post it on Facebook and find somebody else who won. <laughs> and see if they have the same memories as I do. <laughs> Just how silly. Something you can only, uh, actually, I'd take that trip now. If somebody got me a limo and to, said, let's go to McDonald's in Malibu, I'd be like, okay. Shit. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. So we're almost done with these ones. Yay. That might be too wide for this project. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Why didn't I just get my actual tool for this? There we go. There we go. And I don't like all this extra white paper. Like, why get off? Go away. Okay. So now that's better. It's a lot better for me. Perfect. Oh, now that's not. Now this is too big. <laughs> Let's do this little saxophone. Why not? Why not? That's my motto. Why not? <laughs> okay, and this one right here. And we're going to do one more. 
one more line right here. All right. There. And I'm excited because uh, Pink Auburn in April, she said that she knows all the good spots for all the good junk. So I'm excited about that very much. Callie has some awesome, awesome, like, yard sales and state sales. And they have awesome thrift shops. I know that much. Everybody from, everybody from California always, always gets the best hauls from their thrift shops, I swear. I'm going to use a zigzag stitch on this. So I hope to find some sort of antique ephemera, antique paper of some sort. Oops, that's the rest of my bobbin. I'm cheating. I'm using beige thread as my bobbin. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. It's just what I have threaded up right now. Get this here. Okay. Okay, okay, we're moving it along. That one's done. You guys, I have such a nice pile of embellishments. I'm so happy. This is just what I needed to start my day. I know, I woke up at noon. I actually woke up at 6 in the morning. And just started to get to work. And I went back to sleep. <laughs> like at 9 in the morning. <laughs> Right there, and this little, I can't remember what this is called, like an air balloon, like a vintage air balloon of some sort. That's good. Ooh, was not wide enough. Not wide enough. Okay, so let's do a zigzag right here. Oh no, straight stitch. Shall do a straight stitch. Okay, now it's solidly put together. And now we're going to move on to these little words with the flower on them. Which are really pretty. But for these ones, I'm actually going to put these together first because... The flower and the word is a whole other mess. So let's just do these first. And then we can mess with the word and the flower. I like to fix them like this. Are they kind of fit? Okay. And let's do a couple straight stitches. I do, guys. I do hope you guys come to hang out with me tonight. And I can't spend a time. I'm still going live at my normal time. So, yay. I think I'm going to make, I think I'm going to want to make fabric tags again. Those were fun. Those were a lot of fun. Okay, so there we go. We got that. Let's go with the next one. This one's pretty much put together already. Not really. I always think it is, but it's not. But I'm going to do it anyway. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted <laughs> at all. <laughs> now it's going to look weird. Oh no. Oh well, I'm going to do it. I have no other choice. <laughs> Stuff happens, you guys. Oh my god, stuff happens. Okay, so here we 
There we go. I don't even know how these got so long. You guys know that's my worst nightmare is these freaking threads, man. They're so aggravating to me. I don't, I don't know why, but they just are. Okay, okay, okay. It's barely on there, barely. There we go, that works. Again, no glue, you guys. You can you can use glue if you want. I just choose not to. I'm a professional. I'm just kidding. I'm just impatient, really. That's what it is. I'm really impatient. I don't want to wait for the glue to dry. And I don't want to guck up my sewing machine. That's fine. Close up. Make sure this is good. Pretty sure I missed that bottom paper. Somehow I didn't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That looks good to me. One more. Okay. Let's get all this off. Get all this off. One left of this. Okay, let me do the tickets, and then that's it. And I can go eat some chicken soup. All right. <laughs> All right. Get back to Downton Abbey and getting these mystery boxes shipped out. Oh, my God. This one right here. Okay, so we got these ticket ones left. Sorry, is going by faster than I imagined. I gotta admit that. I will admit it. So that's pleasant. That's a pleasant surprise. We're gonna keep on going with the straight stitch for now until I find something I can't do with the straight stitch. One more. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to do this one. Right there. Okay, good. Like a giant ice cream. One more line here. That will do it. Look interesting with the straight lines. I like that. You see that? I like the white thread because I can go through the tickets, but you can still read the words, which is great. Great trade-off there. That looks good to me. I'm going to do a couple lines with this one. One more. Down here. Looks good. We got this one, huh? Okay. Keep it nice and together. I think 
I need to cut out. I need to cut out the pictures from those books too, and I need to. I always sew around the edge on them because I think that looks nice. I need to do that too because I'm definitely gonna want to add those to these journals. It's just a nice thing that fills up a page very good. So that's got. Be got a lot, a lot of things to do to get these journals done, but I'm excited to get it done. Thing like finishing a bunch of stuff to feel accomplished, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, I haven't climbed my Mount Everest, but I have made 20 junk journals in a month. <laughs> how about how about you? <laughs> so the countdown begins now. It's the sun. And now I will sing for you guys. Oh my god, my alarm. Okay, okay, I heard you. It's gonna keep ringing, I know that. Oh my gosh, why? So I didn't get to hit dismiss. My husband is the worst. He'll literally, I don't even know why he does this. He has like 50 alarms set every day. I don't know what he does and he still can't manage his time. So I don't know what the point of that is. Just to annoy me, I think. Like, I don't know about you guys, but like my mom taught me like maybe <laughs> through discipline or something. <laughs> like, if the alarm rings, you get up. There's no another five minutes. There's no another ten minutes. Alarm rings, you get up. <laughs> so, ever since when I have to set an alarm, when it rings, I get up. I don't lay in bed. I don't have 20 alarms set like my husband does. I get up. He drives me nuts. He literally has 30 alarms set. I feel like he has an alarm set every 15 minutes. I don't... I don't know why. Okay, so let's put this spot... This one back where it's supposed to be. Right there. Okay, we're on the last couple of collages. And then we're all we're done. Till tonight, of course. Till tonight. Starting another project. Well, continuing a project, I should say. The tags. The fabric tags that I'm really into right now. I need to make more of them. Let's do this here. Okay, good. Are you staring at me again? You don't bring me your toy and you just want to stare at me. I'm not feeling it, boy. I'm just not feeling it. Oh, the ticket moved. <laughs> no. On one of the last ones, of course, the ticket moved. Okay, good. I don't... Gosh darn it. One second, this is gonna bug me. I don't wanna waste this ticket. Okay, okay, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> Trying it one more time. It happens, you guys. God, these things, I'm telling you, it just happens. Okay, one more. I have been wanting to make a review on what uh, I learned in school, which is the rules of design. It's just like, it's almost like a homework assignment. Like I have to make like a whole presentation <laughs> and examples and stuff like that. So maybe I have to find a different way to do it. That's a little bit more exciting. Maybe a little bit more show and tell. 
not so much like school. <laughs> I'll have to figure it out because I really want to do that. It's a fun subject and it really helped me to um, kind of be able to put together, um, put together art basically. And like I said before, once you know what the rules are of design, you know how to break them. You could do things properly. Okay, so we are all done for today or for today's live during the day. I made so much stuff. I'm really happy with the bunch of stuff that I made in these last two hours. So I want to say thank you, everybody, for hanging in there with me, even though the chat was disabled. I don't know why, but I guess things happen for whatever reason they happen. So, again, thank you guys so much for joining me. I will be here tonight at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, doing something else. I think I'll be doing the fabric tags, like I said, because that's just what I feel like working on today, I think. Maybe, I don't know, don't hold me to it if I change my mind. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much. I would normally thank uh, a lot of people by name right now, but I don't know who's here. <laughs> I don't know who's here. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys tonight at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time like we always do. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me. And, um, yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you guys tonight. Peace out.